contract between who? It's a contract between the United States Republic and the United States of America. But there are certain clauses in that contract that apply to Moors, which takes us back to the Treaty of 1787. But that contract between the United States and the United States of America does not apply to us other than that part that discusses the treaty. So it's not relevant for us to go into any courtroom and argue about their ordinances, their codes, their statutes. The only thing we're in there to talk about is, have we violated the treaty? Have we violated that part, which is Article VI of the Constitution, that applies to us? That's the only question in the courtroom. Because the status of the individuals looks like this. You and the judge, there's nobody else that you need to discuss anything with in the courtroom besides the judge. The prosecutor is invisible to you. Now, what do you have to say to that judge? My honor, not your honor. What is your status? What is your name? What is your nationality? All right? And do not let them get away with saying, I am a U.S. citizen. Uh -uh. You cannot be a citizen and sit a bench. You cannot be a member of the Bar Association, which is a private, nonprofit corporation that issues registration numbers to its members who do not have a license to practice law in any state. Because in order to have a license to practice law, you must have your appropriate proper person. And in order to be in appropriate persona in this country, whether that be North America, Central America, or South America, you must be a Moor. If they want to be sovereign, they've got to go home. They cannot be sovereign here. <laughs>